Hello you guys, it's Michaela. Welcome to today's video. I am going to be going through all of my journaling like equipment, I guess you could say. All my journals, their purposes, and all the supplies I use. Um, so the journals I have laid out here are the ones that I use regularly. Um, I definitely do have more than this that I've already filled up and I'm not actively using, but these are the ones that I'm currently using on a weekly basis, all for different purposes. I also use all these markers and pens and supplies for different journals and different things, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my whole system. I'm going to go ahead and start with the journal I use the most, which is definitely this one. It's by a brand called Peter Paper Press, I believe. Um, again, everything is going to be linked in the description. Um, this is the one that I use for my church notes. So every time I go to a sermon on the weekends, every time I go to youth group, every time I go to young adults, this is where I record my notes. And it fills up pretty fast because I'm at church like three times a week at the most, I think. Um, and these are the ones that I've already filled up. I plan on buying the same type of journal for all my church notes so that they line up and all are all cohesive. Um, these are the highlighters I use. They're from a small Christian store here called Mardell's. I don't know if you guys have that in any other states or countries, but they are literally the best. They don't bleed through my Bible pages and they're cute and pastel and just so much more pleasing to the eye than regular highlighters. I'm obsessed with them. This is my second pack here are my two bullet journals so this one i started quite a while ago i think um almost a whole year ago actually and i use it for a variety of things it's more of my artistic outlet um, versus anything uh, so i record prayer requests blessings of like the month spiritual goals um and i come up with a theme for each month um, and that's how I do it. Recently, I've actually been getting kind of lazy and I haven't been using my bullet journal, but um, I plan to start it up again in the new year. These are the markers that I use for this bullet journal. Um, I bought them with the actual bullet journal, both from Amazon, as well as these, um, they're kind of micro liner knockoffs, but they work just as amazing. They are great. They come in a great like case that turns into a stand. It's awesome. Um, and this bullet journal I just recently got. I don't really know its exact purpose yet, but so far I recorded a sermon. I've written a sermon notes in it and um, some stuff from Retreat. I think I'm going to use it more so as like a collection kind of book, um, pressing flowers and keeping mementos and stuff like that. Um, then I got these midliners from Michaels with the bullet journal. They're okay, not my favorite, but I do use them. Um, and then I got actual micro liners. Uh, they're all the same size because they came in a pack, but that's what I use for this journal. This is my super expensive journal from Barnes & Noble and that is because I planned for it to last for a long time and so far it has. I think I've had it for uh, maybe a little under a year. Um, I used it to record everything I learned from reading the entire Bible. Um, I honestly use it as kind of a diary. It has all my personal stuff in it, my what's going on spiritually in my life, um, and just like what I need to vent. This is where I write. Um, and so far it has so much room left in it and then I use these sometimes I got them in Rwanda so sadly these will not be linked below because I have no idea where I would find them um, and then same as my church notes I use this pen it is literally the best pen for everything uh, this I got from Barnes & Noble. The pages are super thick. It's handmade in another country. I'm not sure which country, um, but this one is also an artistic outlet kind of book. I use it more so for sketching and for um, aesthetic purposes versus like pouring my heart out for stuff. So 
recently I've been taking stuff I learned from sermons and drawing it in this book and I have been loving it. Again, I use these knockoff microliner pens from Amazon. They work great and I find that they work really well with the thick pages in this journal. Yeah, so this was just a quick overview of all my journals and their purposes and all the supplies I use. It really isn't that complicated. That's why this video is just so short. There isn't really much to show you guys. But uh, I did want to share because I do get a lot of questions about where I bought my bullet journal. And a lot of people notice that I have a lot of different journals. I wish I was that kind of person that kept one journal and like all my stuff in it, all my mementos, all my church notes, all my prayer requests, everything like that. But I'm just not like that. I prefer to have them all separated. I don't know. It's just what works for me because like I prefer this kind of journal for my church notes. I really love it. But when it comes to bullet journaling, I would not want lines on my bullet journal, obviously. Um, and I like to separate like my personal diary entries from my church notes just because a lot of people look at my church notes and I don't really want people looking at my personal entries. But yeah, I hope that makes sense and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and let you watch this beautiful footage that I took on my bed when the sun was going down. So the lighting really is not good. Okay, so that was it for today's video. I am here in my pajamas signing off because I just had a snow day. It was amazing. Um, don't forget to subscribe, comment below, like this video, whatever you're feeling, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.